How is it going everybody? You're watching Then About Tech and today I'm going to show you how to start and how to end a workout on your Apple Watch with the buttons. That's right, this is such a huge deal, especially if you work out outdoors, if you run, if you cycle, if you swim, because as you know, as the Apple Watch gets wet and the screen gets wet, you just can't really use it, right? So. Let me show you how to do that, this is such a game changer. Ok guys, so as you can imagine, the process will vary a little bit depending on the Apple Watch you have. So there's one process for the Apple Watch Series 0 all the way up to the Series 9, the regular Apple Watch and another one for the Apple Watch Ultra and Ultra 2, which is this case right here, of course, I'm gonna show you for all of them. Ok, so starting off with how to end a workout without tapping on the screen just with buttons because generally that's where it gets complicated right when you are already sweating so as i said this will vary depending on your apple watch model if you have a normal apple watch series 0 all the way to series 9 you can actually press on both the digital crown and the side button right here the two buttons that you have on your apple watch so as you can see uh, the workout is going on right it's on right here so if i press on both at the same time, as you can see, it paused the workout. You have probably seen that it actually took a screenshot as well, I'm gonna talk about that in a second. But that's the whole idea, pressing on both at the same time and then the workout will pause. And this is very important because this is not auto pause. So this is different from when you are actually working out, for example, and you stop for a while and then you get that notification, right? This is not it. This is a manual pause, meaning that pressing both here at the same time will pause the workout for good and it will not resume unless you press on both once again. So the whole idea here is that you pause and then of course you have time to get dry, uh, to wash your Apple Watch, to clean it, to dry it off, to wash your hands, to get dry and then you go ahead here and of course you will go ahead, slide and end the workout as easy as that. So even though you can't actually end it, but you will manually pause and it will stay paused exactly at the point that you want and then you go ahead and manually end it. If you have an Apple Watch Ultra, you can do it just like that as you saw it, pressing both buttons here or there is another possibility for the Apple Watch Ultra which will do the exact same thing which is side button and action button. So both here which I think is more ergonomical, it's just better to press it like that instead of pressing like this but it'll do the exact same thing as you can see and then when you're done, when you are at home, when you are in your car for example, uh, when you are in a convenient place, you go ahead here and you end it. All right? So now let me show you how to actually start a workout with your buttons. Let's start off this time with the Apple Watch Ultra that has the action button. So what I wanted to do is actually go ahead and press here on a digital crown and go to settings because it's very important to set it up correctly and then scroll down until you see action button somewhere around here. There you go, action button. And then most people have it like that. So action for workout to open up the workout app. So then as you are anywhere on your Apple Watch and you press on the action button, it will open this very first page of the workout app, but that's not what you want, right? The whole idea is to actually start the workout. So what you can do is actually scroll down just a bit and instead of having here first press, open workout, no, 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 you tap here and then you can start a workout. So then from now on, as you press on our digital crown, you actually start the workout itself. So you won't need to tap on the screen. So of course, pick here the workout that you actually do outdoors with gloves or anything for that matter. But I'm going to use it traditional strength training just for this example. And as you can see here, I'm on my watch face. I press on the digital crown and then it will start the workout. So then as you can see, I don't have to tap on the screen. I press here, the workout will begin. And then of course, with my other tip, I can go ahead here and stop it like that or like this 
if you have a normal Apple Watch. Oh, and by the way, you can actually map your action button for other apps as well. So if you come back here to settings and action button, you can do this exact same thing for other apps. So as you can see here, uh, the native workout app will be the default, but as you tap on it, you can select Nike Run Club, for example, or other apps that you use. Uh, so as you can see here, same story, uh, a first press will actually start, for example, an outdoor run or an outdoor run with a 5k goal and so on so then the same applies here the possibility to actually start the workout even on other third-party apps without actually having to press on any button and last but not least if you want to actually start a workout and if you don't have an apple watch ultra then it gets a little tricky because unfortunately it's impossible uh, we can actually get to the workout app so if you double press on a digital crown you can actually get to the workout app as you can see right here you can navigate and get there and then it'll open up the workout app right you just leave it on the screen as you can see you go ahead here double press and you leave it on the screen on your app switcher and then it'll open up the workout app all of that without touching the screen but then from here on you will have to actually tap on it to start so then it's a limitation of your normal apple watch so then if you're like hardcore you really want to work out and you really want to take advantage of this feature of the buttons you will have to get the apple watch ultra because of the other button the action button all right so that's it thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video as usual guys bye bye